How you doing? I'm Darren with Ash Kickin' Barbecue. If this is your first time to the channel, then welcome. If you've been here before, then welcome back. Today, we're gonna to be doing a complete and honest review of the Z Grills 1002B. Now, I should note that Z Grills was kind enough to send me this grill to give my complete and honest review of, so all opinions formed in this video are of my own. This is not a paid promotional video. So, let's quit the talking and jump right into it. Okay guys, this is going to be initial first impressions and burn-in on the Z Grills 1002B. So starting off here with the hopper, we have a 20 pound hopper. I'm a little surprised it's only 20 pounds. I was kind of expecting a 40 pound hopper on a 1000, but we'll make it work. Down here we have our controller. It is not a PID controller, it's a time controller. No big deal there. I have other pellet cookers that are the same way. Here we have a front folding shelf, always a nice feature. Then over here, we have our side shelf with our hooks for our cooking utensils. Coming around to the back side, this is a really nice feature. That is our ash dump out system, so we don't have to take all the grates out to remove our ash and shop vac it out. We can just pull that out and dump it. Inside the cooker, you can see we have our burn pot and our deflector. This deflector just goes here, sits in there, super easy, super nice. One thing that does kind of concern me is this temp probe is touching the metal here, so I'm hoping we don't get any false readings from that. We are going to be running our pellet grill today with the Blue Eddy Max Oak 1000 watt portable battery generator. This thing's actually pretty cool. 1000 watts may be a little bit overkill for running a pellet grill. I'm anticipating it to be about 220 to 224 watts upon startup and then drop down. This thing weighs about 33 pounds. It's a solid little, little unit. I've ran over 12 hours on a cook with this before and it really does a nice job. So to fire up this Z Grills 1000 2B, we're going to turn it on and we are going to turn it on to smoke mode. You can see we're getting our reading here. And we'll come over here and see, I already kind of pre-fed it, so we have some pellets coming, but we'll just make sure the auger is turning. And you can indeed see that the auger is turning there. One thing I like to do is just go ahead and throw in a little handful of pellets just so that igniter isn't working so hard waiting on those other pellets to come in. You can see here on startup we're actually pulling 241 watts. That's a little bit higher than I anticipated but it's actually nothing for this 1000 watt so you could definitely get away with a little bit smaller of a unit but bigger is always better. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and get our flame tamer put on there and I'm going to get all the grates back in here and I'll bring you back. All right, and in the time it took us to get our grates in there, we got some smoke. The pellets are burning. We're just going to wait to hear the sound that the fan has kicked on and that we almost jet engine sound. Then we'll shut down the lid and we will set our desired temp. So I'll bring you back. All right, and I don't know if you can hear that, but you can hear kind of that jet engine sound showing that we have flame down there and you can actually see that smoke start to dissipate and that's gonna clear out of there and then we'll get it shut down. All right, guys, and there it is. You can see it's running a little bit cleaner now. You can hear that sound, hopefully. Hopefully the mic's picking it up. And then if you look over here, we're actually still pulling 242 watts, which is really surprising. Usually on my other pellet cookers, it'll drop down to about 20 some watts as soon as the fan kicks on and as soon as it's running and it starts dropping. It did look like it was dropping a bit there. We're down to 222, 221, bouncing back and forth. So we'll definitely pay attention to that and see if that changes at all. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just gonna take some cooking spray and just kind of spray down the inside of the cooker just to get it seasoned. We're gonna get everything in here. We'll get everything seasoned. We'll get the lid. And then we're just gonna let this run at 250 degrees for about a half hour. I kind of do my burn-ins a little bit different, but however you want to do it is great. So I'm gonna let this run for about a half hour at 250, and then come out and spray it down again, and then we'll kick it up. So we'll check in with you guys then. All 
While we're waiting on this cooker here, I just wanted to talk a little bit more about this Max Oak Blue Eddy 1000 watt. This thing's actually pretty cool. You got a lot of spots here for USB to charge. You got your 12 volt charger. You got your AC DC. And then if you come around to the back here, you can see we get, that's where we got our pellet grill hooked up. And then we have a nice little fan here to keep things cool. There's our input for charging. And then obviously another plug-in. So it's really a neat little unit. Um, it's great for camping it's great for taking on trips i also have a little tabletop cooker and this works great for taking hunting trips and stuff like that all right guys so it's been a half hour you can see we're right at about 250. we're actually pulling 57 watts here so it did drop got some nice seasoning going on you can see right there, we are at 250 degrees dead center, so that's really awesome. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm just gonna go ahead and spray it down again. Get everything sprayed. I'm gonna get this closed down. Then we're gonna go ahead and crank it up to high and we're gonna let it go for another half hour to an hour and I'll come back out and check with you then see how we're looking and see how that inside temp probe right here is looking reading at 450 so we'll see you guys in a little bit all right guys so it's been another hour you can see we have some really good seasoning here we got it set at 450 it's about 475 so still pretty good for higher temps but yeah, so we got a good seasoning on there. It doesn't seem like this probe touching the metal up there is really affecting anything. So we got her all seasoned up. It's looking really good. We used a little blurp here. We're at 56 watts. So yeah, everything's looking good. I gotta say I'm pretty impressed with this Z grill so far. Obviously we're gonna get much more in depth in this and knock out a few cooks and we'll give you my final opinion. But overall, first impression, pretty good. We're gonna definitely give this thing the, the the workout though and see how it does. So be sure you check back and all that. So yeah, uh, overall pretty happy with it. One thing I did wanna mention that I don't think I did is there is no pellet dump for this hopper. So whatever you put in there, you're kind of stuck with, but you know, not a huge deal. Um, but overall, yeah, pretty solid. So all I'm gonna do now is open it up and then come down to my controller and I'm going to turn it onto the shutdown cycle and I'm just gonna leave this open and let it cool down. So let me bring you guys back and show you the cover that comes with this stock uh, when you order it. It's actually a pretty quality cover. So we'll see you guys then. Guys, one thing I wanted to show you before we checked out the cover, I wanted to see how this ashtray looked. Look at that. There is our ash clean out, so that's gonna make it super convenient to clean out our ashes out of our fire pot instead of shot backing it. So let's check out the cover. All right guys, and there's the cover that comes with your Z grill, which is a really nice that you get a custom fit cover with the order of your grill. And it does have little eyelets down here, so you can make sure it doesn't blow away, but really nice cover. Does a great job of covering everything. You can see that there. Fits the shelf nicely. So, really nice feature that comes with Z grills. So, kudos to them for including a cover with their grill. That is absolutely huge, especially for me here in Minnesota where we get all sorts of inclement weather. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to like, subscribe, ring that bell, stay safe, and we will see you next time.